good morning bande matram welcome all of you the topic we are going to discuss right now is on freedom and asceticism part 1 it is from the writings of the mother who will try to analyze uh, in brief freedom and asceticism that is the topic of discussion for this morning most of the time we get confused uh, for asceticism that the freedom is required or not if the freedom at all helps us riding towards uh, asceticism if both can to be allowed to dwell together um, for everything everybody now uh, with all consciousness or if it is uh, the diversified process something uh, moving uh, apart from each other staying aloof so these are the questions most of the time get confused we get confused and uh, this confusion must is clarified better by uh, mother mother um, so mother tries to explain uh, to be free from all attachment does not mean running away from all the occasions of for attachment attachment is there so occasions of attachment that is another question but thing is that uh, um, things to be clarified clearly to be free from all attachment whatever attachment is our attachments are there you must uh, be free from attachment for the purpose of yoga so to be free from all attachment does not mean that uh, running away uh, running away from all occasions for att- attachment okay, all occasions of attachment that is the scenario that is the situation it does not mean you will run away from all these things uh, to be free from attachment all these people who um, assert their um, asceticism not only run away but uh, you know warn others not to try they don't know what is this asceticism and all but they even they try to run away and they question the follower who are uh, on that path um, others uh, not to try even that that is the problem because uh, maybe some uh, misunderstanding is there some confusions are there and they are yet to be clarified they have not been clarified till now so this is the thing they, are, they get uh, horrified rather terrified so this seems an obvious to me when um, you need to run away from the from a thing you run away from the from a thing in order to um, experience it means that you are not above it you are still on the same level if it is there something like uh, if you are um, you have gone beyond you have overcome if you have not not to- you are not touched if you are staying up beyond the attachment level then it will never touch you something like you can take the example like your uh, lotus leaf living in the water but it is not uh, not at all attached no water is touching so it is remaining on that as like this if you have gone on this le- beyond these levels uh, so you will not be worried and uh, think of running away from that as well that is what again uh, when you need to run away from a thing in order to experience it run away from it in order to experience it it means that uh, you are not above it you are still on the same level so anything that surpasses um, diminishes or lessens can't bring freedom freedom great 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 definition great definition definition anything that surpasses diminishes or lessens three things mother quoted that is um, diminishing your values anything that surpasses diminishes or lessens can't bring freedom freedom has to be experienced in the whole of life and in all the senses in the sensations in the whole of life that is what the most requirement it must be you know, experienced in the whole of life and all sensations that is what and something something i'll put it again something that uh, diminishes lessens and surpasses they are not really the, they can't bring the true freedom so later we will move forward a little bit what mother really wants to quote it here now, as a matter of fact i have made the whole series of studies on the subject and the purely um, physical planes that the study has been um, studied in the physical plane in order to be above all possible error very interesting thing to remain far above all these possible errors 
we must eliminate the any occasion for error we must eliminate any occasion for error for example if you don't want to say any useless words stop speaking people who take vow of the silence imagine they are in control of speech this is what uh, mother explains on her material your physical story so in giving example um, so mother quotes um, you must remain um, tend to eliminate the any occasion of error you must uh, uh, do do you must stay above all physical errors above all possible errors mother is giving examples number one you can think um, when you want to uh, say you, you don't want to say any useless words most of the time mother sri aurobindo is having one a beautiful vessel the world is depend with the use the useless words not at all if you have got no use unnecessarily unnecessarily in many occasion or in all the occasions we can find they are using the useless words so if you start speaking people who take a vow of silence imagine that this is the control of speech it is not true it is a control speech of speech nobody is there with you you are not talking it does not mean that you are controlling your speech so that is what the uh, thing mother quoted um, if you stop speaking uh, useless words if you don't want to speak useless words you stop them speaking and the people who take vow of silence imagine that uh, they are in uh, there is control of speech but not true it is only eliminating the occasion of their speech uh, therefore for saying uh, useless things for saying the useless things it is the same thing with food eating what is necessary you eat you try to take in what is really absolutely necessary that is what to be taken and uh, but the uh, new uh, natural tendency is to fast it is a mistake whatever is required you have to take because in integral yoga no fasting is helpful but the thing is that instead we take uh, it is our natural tendency is to fast which is a mistake really so whatever is needed to be spaced you say whatever is needed to be said you um, try to remain silent whenever it is required whenever there is a requirement you try to speak something that is absolutely necessary so for fear of being mistaken in our actions fear of being mistaken in our action we stop doing anything at all maybe it will be wrong i have i will i want to then you, that is that is a greatest error you are not able to learn something so suppose i can give you one example you have to run and uh, with this running you will there is a you will fall down and uh, while you are uh, at least it, uh, it is a kid condition so some small baby if you wants to stand up and start the moving then possibility of falling down and the breaking maybe breaking a leg also but uh, fearing all these things with this phobia if you if someone is prohibiting his baby to run or start or walk then what will be the result he will never run at all even that now itself it is his calling and doing some fracture and this is a you know uh, a kid and uh, pediatric case this juncture uh, will be um, um, it will mix up uh, they can recover but uh, suppose at the age of around 10 or 15 years without knowing how to walk if you just uh, you um, fall on the road then what will happen it is a great debacle yes you had this great um, on the on irreparable loss rather so for fearing being mistaken of in our speech mistaken our action um, and once being mistaken of our action so we will um, do nothing at all second for fearing for fear of being mistaken in our speech we want to speak we will stop speaking fear of eating for the pleasure of eating we don't eat at all so these are the things these are mistakes something will wrong happen so that we will stop that work how can it work for example mother gives one uh, um, uh, if suppose uh, mistaken for our uh, in uh, being mistaken for our actions people will take it uh, otherwise they will mistake it so we'll stop doing second uh, number one second is uh, being mistaken of for our speech we will stop speaking third in the fear of eating uh, for the pleasure of eating we don't eat at all so this is not really the freedom 
This is not really the freedom. It is, it is something like ignorance. Something that is literally going beyond the, it is against your nature. It is simply reducing the manifestation to the minimum. That is what Malak Mother quotes. Reducing the manifestation to the minimum and the natural conclusion is, is, is a nirvana. Nirvana. So, natural conclusion is nirvana. But if the Lord wanted only nirvana, nothing but the nirvana. Um, uh, and the nirvana would, nothing but the nirvana would exist. So, it is, uh, nirvana is not our goal. Once upon a time for Buddhist philosophers, Buddhist uh, school of uh, thought, nirvana was a great thing. But here we have got uh, a small station where we can find the nirvana on our way. But uh, it is not the final goal. We are going to a long distance somewhere in between. This small station will come, some stoppage will come, that, is, that will be known as your nirvana. That is not the end. So, it is obvious that he uh, conceives the coexistence of all of this. And that him, he must be beginning it of the totality. Must be the beginning of totality. That error, that mistaken coexistence of all of this um, and the beginning of totality, these things must be taken proper care of. And uh, so obviously, if one feels um, meant for that, one can choose only one of his manifestations, uh, the absence of manifestation, that is to say, but uh, it is still a, a limitation. And this is not the only way to find, find him far from it. Thing is there to uh, giving uh, something a new form, a new name or a new format. We are trying to escape. That is not helpful at all. So you have to know, running away from the serial thing, without understanding, taking a decision. And we think what we think is right. It is never helpful in any way. Uh, later, mother comes to the concluding person and tries to explain. It is very common tendency who probably originate from an ancient suggestion or perhaps from the same lack ancient suggestion that's why because most of the time we feel people are there they feel they are learned because the learned yes they have learned they are learned they have learned something but actually they are still in the ancient philosophy like uh, you can know bullet 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 cat um, uh, mentality when the time has uh, gone to become reached the um, you know uh, bullet train possibility Right now we can feel the presence of the bullet turn everywhere, but the people are still in the bullet, uh, in the bullet cart uh, mentality. You can change them. You are at the right, uh, people have been um, supramentalized. People are staying in the supramental consciousness and still the world is uh, you know, moving around and searching around and going for research for this, um, you know, must uh, uh, and this environment, this world and its uh, uh, proximity, its uh, possibility, like this, how can you go and do this? So some incapacity, uh, some lack, some incapacity, uh, reduce, reduce, reduce other course three times, one's needs, reduce one's activities, reduce one's words, reduce one's food, reduce one's um, uh, active life, all these things, reduce, 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 one needs, number one, reduce, one's activities, reduce number your um, words, number four, reduce one's food, number five, right, reduce one's active life. And all that becomes so narrow, so all that becomes so narrow in one's aspiration. That is what mother goes if you understand and go through that suggestion and uh, doing um, uh, the things that lack some incapacity, reduce, reduce, reduce one's needs, reduce one's activities, reduce one's words, and reduce one's foods, reduce one's even active life, and uh, all that becomes so narrow in one's aspiration, that what happens in the final phase, in one's aspiration not to make any more mistake, one eliminates any occasion of making them, it is not the cure. In case once in one's aspiration not to make many mistakes, aspiring to make not to make any mistake, but what on the contrary we are doing, only eliminates any occasion for making it. 
eliminating the occasion for uh, uh, um, uh, making it it is not a true it is not bringing the true solution really you can understand so that is what really happening in the true uh, phase of this life uh, ordinary life we feel even in some uh, spir uh, spiritual life in the initial condition we take that way because our uh, idea it has not been clarified so um, I will try to understand what really we have to give to two freedom. We must know the meaning of these two freedom. Um, it is a restriction, constriction, whereas true thing is an opening, widening, and an identification with the whole. That is the true freedom. Freedom is not that 15th August we are going to celebrate Triranga. We want to unfold the Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka in our um, um, uh, rooftop but thing is that it is an opening it is an way to it is a widening and identification with the whole that is the true freedom one day Matram will stop here